Hello and welcome to the Retractable Bridge plugin tutorial. My name is Ollie and I'm going to show you how to install, download and use this plugin in game. So in the link in the video provided you will find yourself on the Retractable Bridge page. Once on here you click download on the top right, download again, save the file and then go on to Windows Explorer to your downloads and you will find the plugin. You need to copy that, find your server file and paste it into the plugins folder. Once you've done that, you need to reload, restart or start your server up. When it does that, it will generate a file which you can configure and you're ready to go. Retractable bridges can be made out of any slab or double slab block. So we're going to show you how to make one. What you need to do is put the half slab down or the double slab, put a block below it and then put redstone below that and link it up to a lever. The bridge must be 2x2 two two, but can be of any size so we'll show you that this one here works and it's larger. You must also remember that the bridge has to be blocked in three different directions so that it knows which way to travel and I'll show you what I mean by that. But first let's just turn it off and we're already running into trouble. One of the problems with retractable bridges is if they move longer than or the same as their length then they're going to need another bit of redstone here to power them. So we're going to put a bit of redstone there and it can power and move back. And it works. Something you might have picked up on if you're a bit observant is this actually moves in the direction to the right relative to me, it moves slower than the other one and that's because it's got one bit of power whereas the other bridge will have two bits of power and when it goes back it's got two and so you can actually speed it up or slow it down depending upon the speed, you know, the redstone that is there. Just to show you that you do have problems if you don't make it know which way to go, we've got the bridge able to go in this direction or this direction and it's got confused and therefore doesn't work but as soon as you put another block in it understands where it needs to go and what it needs to do so let's just quickly show you that the bridge can be made out of double slabs however it can't be a mix of the two it's gotta be a whole set of double slabs or single slabs and although it looks like the same as say oak wood planks you cannot use regular planks and that's because they have a different ID to a double slab despite looking identical but I'll show you a really good use for that later and you can see it doesn't work one of the other things you need to know with your retractable bridge is when you're building it you need to build an edge to stop it from floating and running away and I'll show you what I mean by this this one will keep going until it hits something solid or the chunk unloads. Now I've put a block here to stop it and now we're not going to be able to send it back quite yet. Although like before if we put a block of power under a block underneath and then redstone underneath that and link it up to the circuit it'll go and back it goes. It's recommended often that you have um, a block and then redstone below in contact with the bridge at all points of a journey as if the chunk unloads it can get stuck and that can be a real big pain however if if the chunk doesn't unload then you don't have to have the power underneath and that's just a way of debugging it some people like to go back after they you know they pull the bridge back after they've gone over it and for example if someone's got a bridge and people aren't able to cross without having the bridge out what you could do is put an Azor gate or an XOR gate up which is here you've got two inputs and here is the output block so when there's one input on you've got the output when the other inputs on there's an output but if both inputs are on there is no output and that allows you to say turn your bridge on by pulling the lever down and it coming towards you 
and once you cross over and get to the other side you can pull the lever down and it will stop and it will come back to you so people can't just walk in and ah uh, and follow you in another really awesome use for this plugin is you'll be able to see in a moment that there's a load of water flowing down and what we've got is a bridge and the water blocks on top of it which is really cool and you may say to me well we can use pistons for that sticky pistons but with a retractable bridge the wiring is incredibly simple as I've just shown you and you can make it any size you want so you can make a 4x4 water drop for example whereas with pistons unless you did some insanely good wiring and I'm not sure if it is even possible but it would be really hard to build and it's likely to break with updates if they change redstone at all one last awesome use I find for this is you'll see that you can make it fit well and you'll see that this bridge can go out here so let's turn it on and I've got a little trap door here which will lead to somewhere the only problem with this is people can sort of see that there's going to be a bridge perhaps that can move here and so they'll know there's a base or trap door under there which is a bit of a pain however I'm going to show you how you can counteract that and make a completely hidden trap door later on so that's the basics of the plugin and I'm going to go on and show you some quick examples welcome to my base and here is a retractable bridge with a lava pit attached and I've only got one lever for convenience but I can retract the bridge and it fits in nicely with the stairs and what, it, what I'm doing this for is to stop players from being able to jump in and cross over to my base and because it's one and a half blocks high you can't actually jump it it's like a fence and so that prevents people from being able to actually get into my base when I don't want them to and I'm just gonna quickly now show you the trap door design so we're into the trap door and this is the trap door below here now if you take a quick look you've got stairs surrounding three edges three edges so it can't move out in those directions and stairs can't move in the default config and here you've got some blocks but actually they are double slabs and what I'm going to do is show you how you can use two retractable bridges in combination and make a hidden trap door so underneath here the bridge is just pushed through to the wall and if you look it's come through and it comes under here so when it's when it's powered off it will it will come back out when it's powered on even sorry so you can see that that space is now empty and that's how I I can allow it to push through a wall that's and seemingly disappear once you've done that what you can do is have a space here for this bridge here to push back and we'll pull this lever and the bridge pushes back and I've got a little trap door there that people would not know about it's very difficult to spot you sort of have to just get lucky if you're wondering why I'm able to power it from here all the way over there I'm using a plugin called wireless redstone but it could be wired in a difficult fashion like the to, to make that work or you could move your control room so I'm gonna now show you a concept on the server that we call Skybase so it's obviously a work in progress but the basic idea is that we have a central hub and a communal area and then people have bases that are floating in the sky with nothing on the ground and you can get between the two by using a retractable bridge that floats over space so we're gonna set ourselves off and obviously it is a bit is a bit funny and you does make people feel a little sick but we will travel to my sky base there is one known problem with this and if the player is not on a bridge then you can actually come across a problem where the chunk could un could unload and the bridge would get stuck in mid-air and that would require you to build up to that bridge and then remove it and 
replace it. So at the other end was a set of redstone and that was one of the launch pads and at this end there's also a redstone set up and a lever for another launch pad. And lastly I'm just going to quickly show you my castle which incorporates Port Killasante which is the sister plugin of Retractable Bridge, Retractable Bridge and some wireless redstone into a funky design. Let's walk inside and have a look. If you might notice this here is a bridge and there's the portcullis using the portcullisante plugin so I'll show you how those work you can raise and lower the portcullis in a similar way to the bridge except it does vertical movements and then you've got the bridge that can come back so I hope you have enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching